Well, hello and welcome. Today's excursion starts right here at a place called Clockwork Field. I, I don't know what that is. I've never heard of it. I was actually looking for a trail, a new trail in the Volcano Cliff area. Haven't been here forever. Been a long, long time, so I thought I'd find a new trail and, and hike it today, but I saw this on the way and I thought I'd explore it. There's a park over here I think I've been to, but I want to check that out. There's, it's a large area that you can walk around. Then down here, you can see the volcano cliffs. And I'm going to go that way and see what it looks like. Come along. Let's explore. Volcanic rocks are just majestic to me. Always have been. Got a little picnic table out here. In the middle of this field. A couple of them. Pretty cool. feel like you're picnicking out in the desert. Look at the size of these poles. Wow. Some kind of electrical poles. Just huge. It's a little chilly. A little chilly for a t-shirt. But I figured I'm going to be walking around, warm up a little bit. It's about, about the mid-40s, and it's going to really cool down, according to the forecast, this next week. Finally cooling down after so many months of very warm weather. Nice and quiet, very peaceful morning. Beautiful. Huh? A little skate park here. And a nice big grassy field over here. Very nice. Yeah, no one's playing tennis this early. Ah. I found a slingshot. Let's see, what can I shoot? <laughs> I'm just going to put it in my back pocket like Dennis the Menace. Many of you younger folks may not know who that is. That was a TV show many, many years ago. It was a young boy that was always getting in trouble and uh, irritating the heck out of, his, out of his neighbor, Mr. Wilson. Quite lovely though, I'd have to say. There's worse ways to start a morning than going for a nice, cool, crisp walk. Okay, that goes to that street there. And a uh, little neighborhood there. Okay, we're back where we started, but we're gonna head that way, which is north and see if we can get up close to the uh, volcano. We might have to might have to cross a busy street, but let's find out. Okay, we're down the 
the road a bit here. This is kind of strange, I must say. Oh, a dog wants to get me over there. Look at this, right in the middle of the street. Look at those huge electrical poles. Or cables or something. I don't know what they are. And they've got their mail and community mailboxes here. It says no parking at any time, but it looks like people have pulled in here to get off the street. You can't blame them. Get off the street here and check their mail real quick. Unless you live really close. Huh. How wild is this? I've never seen anything like this. Pretty, 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 pretty weird. And it's different. I like different. I like uh, little nooks and crannies. Okay, next we are going to head. Looks like there's a little entrance right there across the road. I don't know where it leads, if anywhere, but we got to explore. Come on, guys. Be nice. Okay, we're at the end of the street. It's not a busy street, but we do have to cross the street right here. Looks like it goes into this field. Okay, we got up on a hill here. We can see a little better. Oh, it's hard walking in the sand. Makes it tw twice as hard. Okay, there's Unser Boulevard. Right up there. And the volcano cliffs. Cool, cool, cool. Where's that little guy? Some kind of gourd or something. Okay, up ahead it, there is some kind of an electrical facility. But from uh, from the tracks here, it looks like kids are just having a ball riding their ATVs or four-wheelers. I know where this leads now. I'm sure I'll remember. Yeah, right. No. We're going to head back now. And we're going to see if we can get... Uh, as close as we can to the uh, uh, volcanic rocks there. It's kind of cool. I love when the sun is shining on the black rocks. And especially if there's, uh, if there's been some rain, the grass grows up in between. Very green grass against that black. Contrast is just beautiful. And it's a good time to go up there too. Uh, less snakes out. The cooler it gets, the more they uh, start going underground. That's it? That's all you're going to say hi to? we got to show them this. Come here. Sit. God, you are so beautiful. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, Joe Cool. Yeah, look at you. When we walk towards the sun, we put those on it. Oh, yeah? That helps? Yeah. The first dog I had out here went blind. I didn't watch it. Ah. I took him out in the midday. I'll be darn, I didn't know that. Yeah, they get a thing called Panis. Panis. Half his eye got wet totally black. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, he sure looks cool in that. Yeah, it's a cool thing. Take hey. care. Okay, we're getting closer and closer. There's a little walkway through here, so there must be a trail. Check out that view. See the treetops all the way down to the river. And the mountains on the other side. It's awesome. Well, let's go for a little, little walk, a little hike, if you will.
It says, welcome, Courtyard's walk-in access. Yes, I love finding new trails. This one's nicely cabled off, roped off, if you will. Well, it's because they don't want people climbing up the rocks and uh, destroying some of the uh, petroglyphs. I don't know if we'll find any around here, but I've done quite a few videos in this area and hiked back a couple miles where you can actually see them. Really cool old uh, etchings in the rocks. Yeah, getting nice and close now. Very cool, very cool. You can't see this trail from the road there. I thought for sure it uh, curved around the other side there. But it goes uh, kind of northeast. Ah, someone else decided to take this walk today too. You can see where it goes all the way north there, and it does. It goes way, way out. Way out. And if you head south, way south, you still see these. So it was a large, large area. Volcanoes just uh, spewed these rocks and, well, created these rocks over a large, large area. What's cool is you got a great view to the east while you're walking this trail and you have uh, these cool formations on the other side. Oh, we're going down, down, down. A little noisy from that road and forch. Oh wow, check it out. I did find some petroglyphs. Look at this right here. Very, very cool. Oh, there's some more. Kind of a box shape. Looks like maybe a, a horse. Yes. Wow. Again, very cool. You really have to keep a sharp eye out for them. And depending on the light, I think this is a really good time of the day because the sun is shining right on them. There's a notice right there. I'm not sure what it says. I'm sure it says keep the heck out. Removing or damaging or altering or defacing could land you in a Correctional facility. Wow, I'm so glad I took this trail. There is some more carvings. Love it. I'm loving it. I hope you are too. Hey, what are these rocks doing in my way? What the heck? Oh, I feel like I'm going through them here. Very cool. Wow. What a view with those clouds. That 
awesome or what? Well, we're going to head back and uh, see what they look like from this angle. <laughs> and I snuck over the ropes there just because I wanted to check out these a little bit closer. Bad boy, bad boy. What you going to do? Wow. So cool. Look at this rock. It's huge. That's a little over six feet. Oh, slipped. That's what I get for breaking the rules. Plus the snakes can get you. The guard snakes, the ones that keep you from going over the ropes. Well, I'm just now warming up. <laughs> Finally warming up. Not much of a breeze. Sun's out brightly. Well, that's going to do it for today's video, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in and walking along with me. I felt you. I felt you next to me. But uh, what a wonderful day, morning, for an excursion, exploration, uh, discovery, whatever you want to call it. It's just, it was so fun to find some new uh, petroglyph uh, sketches or etching in the rock and a new trail. And I uh, haven't been uh, around the volcanic rock in quite some time. So it was nice. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, take care of yourself and those around you. I'll see you soon, hopefully. Bye for now.